everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be teaching you guys how to use these LED LED strips on the bottom of your board by powering them with your electric skateboard battery pack. Having a good lighting system for your electric skateboard is not only important so that you can see the road, but also so that oncoming traffic can see you at night. Using something such as shred lights look really cool and we do use those, but I think that these LED LED strips look super cool on the bottom of your board, and after seeing them used on the new Evolve GTR series and the prism strips, I really wanted to take a shot at building my own. So without further ado, let's get into how you can set this up. So the first thing that you're going to need is the actual LED strips themselves. We bought ours off of Amazon and they come as a pack of two. These LED strips come in these spools, as you can see right here, and they're powered by three AA batteries. Now, it's definitely possible to power your LED strips using these AA batteries, but we really didn't want to have to tape this clunky little battery holder to the end of our skateboard deck. We really wanted it to be powered off of the battery that's already on the electric skateboard. Now, as you can see here, you can change the mode of these lights pretty easily. All you have to do is press one of the three buttons that comes on this little input thing that goes into the lights, and you can change the color, the setting, the speed that they change at, and all of that. So here you can see the battery pack and there's two wires that come out of it, a positive and a negative. And here we have a buck converter which puts out around 5 volts and has a USB port on it. So what we figured we'd do is instead power them off of the buck converter that's connected to the pack rather than the batteries because these lights take 5 volts, which is the same amount that those buck converters put out. Another important feature that these LED strips have is that they have this sticky 3M adhesive on the back. All you have to do is peel it off and the lights will stay on your skateboard for a long amount of time without coming off. The next thing that you're going to need are just these generic USB connectors which we got from Amazon. They came as a set of 10 males. They also include these little black plastic holder thingies that connect into the USB so that when you're done soldering it, it'll give it a much more professional look. The black holders will also ensure that the wires don't come unsoldered or that they stay close to the actual connection. The next thing you're going to want to do is identify which of these four connectors is the positive and a negative. The far right is the positive as I just showed and the far left is the negative. You'll only need a positive and a negative just to get the voltage across. We first soldered the positive wire on the far right side using a standard soldering iron. Just make sure that you're careful and don't melt the plastic as it's very sensitive. We then repeated this exact same process for the negative side using a black wire. Once you've soldered them both on, make sure you have a secure connection by tugging on each of them lightly and making sure that they stay in place. For a finishing touch, just put on these plastic black connectors by lining up the pegs on the metal with those on the plastic, threading the wires through the edge of the plastic bit, and then placing the final black piece on top and clicking it into place. The result is a pretty nice and cool looking USB connector that you made yourself. The next thing we're going to do is take the two wires that come out of the battery and then just cut them off from the battery pack so you have a positive and negative going into the LED lights. You can then split the two strands and strip the protective plastic off of it so that the wire is exposed. Then twist the exposed ends from the LEDs to the exposed ends that plug into the USB ports. To test out that it works, you can just plug it into any 5 volt power supply such as a power bank and the LED lights should turn on. Once you're positive that it works, you can undo the twisted wires and then solder them together. Make sure that you put heat shrink or electrical tape on the exposed portions of the wire so that they don't short. Now the next step is putting the buck converter onto your electric skateboard so that it supplies power to the USB port. The first thing we did was to just velcro the USB port into our enclosure using this sticky 3M Velcro. Next, we took this two pin JST connector that plugs into the buck converter to supply it with power. And it has a positive and negative wire that come out of it. And each wire will plug into the respective positive and negative lead coming out of the battery. So basically what we're doing is just wiring this buck converter in parallel to the battery. Once you've done this, your buck converter should be working. It can power anything that has an input of five volts. So that's cell phone chargers or any other USBs. But for our sake, we're just gonna plug in our little DIY USB LED strips into them. The next thing we did was to cut a hole for the USB port to sit in, which we accomplished by using a drill and making a ton of little tiny holes. We then used a hot glue gun to hold the interior of the buck converter in place so that it stayed mounted to the exterior of the enclosure. By no means does this look super pretty, but it does get the job done. 
The next step was actually mounting the LED strips to the exterior of the enclosure using the sticky 3M tape. One last time we checked to make sure that the lights worked and then we stuck them down. The adhesive on these LEDs is very strong and sticks to the enclosure very well. We've had no problems with them thus far, but the only really annoying thing about these LED strips is the fact that they don't really bend that well, so it's hard to mount them around an enclosure. Another nice feature about these lights is that you can cut them on certain spots and it won't damage the lights if you need it to be shorter, so we did this so that it would be the perfect length. At this point, the system was done and this is what the finished project looked like. So there you guys have it, that's how we made our DIY underglow LED lights for our DIY electric skateboard. By no means is this thing very bright at all and provide a lot of lighting for you, but it does look really cool while riding at night. If you're interested in doing this, we'll have all the parts that we use to build this in the description below so that you guys know where to find them. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and also subscribing to our YouTube channel for lots of other DIY electric skateboard content. Also, make sure to go check out our online store, Propulsion Boards, for some awesome DIY electric skateboard parts and custom electric skateboards. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.